Hello everybody. So today we're going to take a look at how to set up a Google Maps API key for your uh, maps or store locator on your website. Whether you're using StorePoint to set up your maps or store locator or another product, uh, this tutorial will help you set up a Google Maps API key for, for either of those options. Uh, we'll go step by step through all the details. If you've tried before, you probably know it's a bit complicated. So we'll go through and try to make it as easy as possible. Before we get into it, though, I'd want to talk about the pricing uh, for Google Maps, just just uh, so that there's no surprises when we go through the setup. Um, Google Maps now requires you to set up billing information, so you will have to provide a credit card. Now, they do give you $200 of usage free each month. So what does that include? If you're just using Maps on your website, it'll be around 28,500 map loads. Now, if you have a store locator with a search function, it gets a bit more complicated because that $200 in credit is equivalent to around 10,000 of these autocomplete sessions, which means that the $200 per month would have to be split evenly. So maybe, you know, 5,000 uh, searches and then um, 15,000, let's say, map loads. If that is of concern to you, uh, StorePoint has the option of using Mapbox for your maps or store locator. Mapbox has higher free limits. It's around 50,000 locator loads as well as an additional 50,000 searches. Unlike Google Maps, it's equivalent to around 20,000 map loads or searches for each month. So it's a bit hard to say depending on the split of map loads to searches. Now, once you go above those free limits, Google Maps costs uh, $7 per 1,000 map loads or searches. Mapbox, on the other hand, once you're above those higher free limits, it's $5 per 1,000 map loads. So it's a bit cheaper. One other benefit of Mapbox is that uh, no credit card is required to set up, whereas Google Maps does require a credit card to set up. Uh, if you are interested in Mapbox, I will have a tutorial for that as well uh, linked below. It's pretty simple, just a matter of creating an account and copy pasting the access token. So let's jump into Google Maps. First step will be to go to the website. It's also linked in the description below. It's just cloud.google.com slash maps dash platform. Once you're there, just hit get started. If you're just going to be using maps, you can just select maps. But for a store locator, you'd need both maps and the places. So we just check both of those and click continue. Now you're going to have to select a project or create one. Most likely you'll have a fresh account so you can create your own project and we can name it my map. Just agree to the terms and click next. Now the next step once that's created is to create the billing account. So as we mentioned before, Google Maps does require you to provide credit card information. So you will just click create billing account here. You'll select your country, just agree to the terms, click continue. So now you'll just see this form where you fill out your business name, uh, name and, and billing details. And when you scroll down, there'll be a form for the card information. So you have to fill out the card information. And once that is done, just click start my free trial right here. And now once we're in the platform, we'll just go through uh, these steps. So first it asks you to enable your APIs. So we just click next. And you're all set. So all you have to do now is take the API key, copy it and paste it right into your map provider or store locator provider. So in StorePoint, you would go in the map provider settings, paste it in right there, click use Google Maps and save settings. Now, if you want to protect your key from being used by others, you can secure it. So you see here, it suggests uh, that you should secure your new API key. This prevents other people from, from using it and perhaps uh, taking up your quota of, of uh, free, free map loads. So if we just click secure credentials over here, what we'll do is set up HTTP referrers uh, restrictions. So this will restrict the key to only be used on your specific websites. So once you click HTTP refers here under application restrictions, you'll see this pop up website restrictions. If you add an item here, we can add our websites right now. So 
Here you could put in the URL where your store locator shows up. So you could put in your website. If your maps or store locator shows up all across your website, you can also use the star to indicate all URLs. So now the maps or store locator will work across any page on this domain. So we just click done and save. Awesome, so now we've created the Google Maps API key. Uh, we've pasted it into our provider and also secured it so it can only be used on our own domains. So hopefully that was helpful. And once again, if you do have any concerns about the Google Maps uh, pricing, feel free to reach out to us uh, in the comments below or chat with us at storepoint.co. Uh, we do have the option of using Mapbox instead, which does have higher free limits and doesn't require adding a credit card if that's something you're concerned about. So that's also a great option. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. And if you are looking to set up a map or store locator for your website, check out storepoint.co. We create customized maps and store locators for your website. So they're nicely matched to your branding and website theme. And let me know if you have any questions about Google Maps or Mapbox. Thank you.